So what do you want to talk about? <laughs> what do you want to talk about? Ha <laughs> ha! I understand. Cody, listen up. Cody! Rock trumpeted the fact that he is on the board of directors. He made it clear as your boss. He said, if you don't get it done on Sunday, you may never ever wrestle for a championship again. So why did you slap him? You slapped me. What the heck? I know. I know. Rock is saying that he's my boss. I'm not so sure that's the case. But if he is, feels good to slap your boss. Hey, we all had that one. Let me tell you. Before the red carpet premieres and sipping the fine tequila and promoting energy drinks and the mana, the mana, the mana. Rock was a wrestler. A dang great one of that. One of my favorites. He knows exactly what that slap was. It was a receipt. Ooh. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. I want to know why you agreed to a tag team match on Saturday. Now, Seth Rollins is actually the one who agreed to the match you obviously did later on. You have so much at stake on Sunday. I'm telling you. Finishing your story against Roman Reigns. Why would you put all that at jeopardy? So much can go wrong in that 24-hour period, including the fact that if you and Seth lose, the match against Roman is going to be competed under bloodline rules where there are no rules. I think more importantly, why would Seth Rollins... Now... Hear me out. You and Seth have a a long history. Oh, yeah. Seth Rollins has made it very clear that he wants to be the top dog, the top champion in WWE. And Seth Rollins is the last person to have defeated Roman Reigns in a one-on-one match. Now, albeit via disqualification, but Seth did beat him and never got his rematch. So perhaps Seth Rollins is the one who wants to finally beat Roman Reigns and end that streak. With all that said, how the hell can you trust Seth Rollins? Wow. People change, Michael. It wasn't that long ago that you were sitting over there in a plexiglass enclosure wearing a Syracuse wrestling singlet. (laughs) Yeah. Each and every one of the boys. Coal miners. The distance, I smashed the throne, and the person who sits on that throne has now become my closest working ally. I even teamed with Jey Uso. Ye, it's just me, Uso. <laughs> I have not always gotten along. That that's true, but he has always had my respect. And I have to go to war with anybody. I am happily doing it with Seth Rollins. Besides that. This is my one shot, the one opportunity at getting a fair fight on night two against Roman Reigns. I knew I was going to be talking to you. I was excited about it. We're old friends. But I want to answer a question that you asked me the last time we were standing in this ring. If if we could, for everybody. But I do want to get back. Uh, I remember this. Have been along with you for this ride of finishing the story. And you had an incredible year. You won the Royal Rumble. You made it to the main event at WrestleMania where you came this close to winning the WWE Championship. Just like your dad did. So my question to you is this Is that going to be your story? Wow. Yeah. It's a good question, Michael. Even now. Here's another one. Do I look nervous? No. Hell. Even frightened? I'll be honest. I'm nervous. I'm scared. 
And I know all the old head podcasters who want this Jerry Springer TV can't believe it. He's out there in a suit. He's using big words. He's telling us that he's afraid. I have every reason to be afraid. I can't say, hey, I'll get him next year because I've already said that. But the story is no longer about Roman Reigns Championship and myself. The story is about all of you who have followed me to the absolute ends. Yes, right. Proud Cody, cry babies. It's about a young girl named Hannah, blind, came to the show holding a sign, cheering for me just to feel it. My friend Harley, who was sitting in the front row, who just went through spinal fusion surgery, who wanted nothing more than to get the weight belt. Fans like that. Fans from my own family. Fans like my sister, the one that Rock didn't mention last week, the original shotgun rider for my dad, who went from watching him wrestle in front of thousands of people to driving him to a signing where there was only 40. Or my mother. She's the only one I got left. And I can't hand it to Dusty Rhodes, but I certainly can hand it to Michelle Rubio. <sighs> Uh, How about my number one fan, someone you know really well because you hired her, my wife, Brandy Rhodes, the most beautiful woman on the earth. She took a shot on me when I was wearing a goofy mask and taking RKO's every night. If anyone deserves it, the story, it's beyond me. But Michael, it's up to me. Roman Reigns, last year at WrestleMania, you said we were in the third inning. I'm letting you know here and now, and I think you already do, we are no longer in the third inning. We are in the last inning. Let's go, Cody! And Michael, I'm so glad we got this moment. Because at WrestleMania 40, on night two, you get to say, for the first time in the history of this company, for the first time in the history of my family, that a Rhodes is undisputed WWE champion. That's right, baby! Oh, I'm so ready for this. You get to say, Man, forget at WrestleMania 40... Y'all see that chick in the background doing this? Finished. Got to find. I ain't going... Uh, sorry, that's besides the point. But Cody... I'm rooting for you. They took it from the daddy in the garden. Let me tell you. And he's going to take it back for the family. Because <laughs> it's all about family, y'all. <laughs> Let me stop. It's all about family.